Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel where hedging peso matters. So we're already here in our part 3 of Fundamental Analysis Made Easy. Now, I'll be picking up from where we left. So I think that would be cost of sales. So cost of sales, right, this measures the cost of goods produced or services provided in a period by an entity. Right. Now, what does it mean? Like in my previous example, which is the manufacturing of a stuffed toy, so we have put aside the pinuhunanan, de ba? We paid for the raw materials. We paid for the equipment, right? The salary, the wages of laborers who would create the stuffed toy. So, at the cost of sales, magano yung lahat lahat nung maproduce yung stuffed toy. So suppose uh, ginawa natin yung stuff toy, lahat lahat per piece would be a uh, thousand. Now, ito yung cost of sales. Cost of sales is different from sales. Sales naman kung magkano natin ibinenta. Like for example, binenta natin siya at one thousand at a thousand and five hundred. So meron tayong kita na. 500. Now, anong pinagkaiba naman nito sa current liabilities? Alright? Current liabilities kasi, ito yung utang ng kompanya. Alright? Company's debts or obligations that are due within one year. So, same thing din. Alright? Yung raw materials, yung equipment. Pero ito, iniutang natin, niloan natin yung pambili ng equipment, pambili ng raw materials. Now, dito naman kasi sa cost of sales, kung magkano lang yung ating, uh, kung magkano yung allotment natin para ma-produce yung isang pirasong stuff toy. And then, kung magkano natin mabenta. Now, here, in our COL Financial, now, para sa recap, We go to quotes. Now, sa quotes, may kita po natin ito. Now, meron pong series of tabs here. Right? May kita po natin, stock, buyer, buyer, seller, trade price. So, I want you to pay attention to highlights. So, recap na lang ito. Highlights. Then, dyan po natin makikita yung mga earning summary. Right? May kita po natin yung income statement accounts. So, medyo mabagal ang net. Hmm. We have to wait. Wait and wait until forever. Anyway, balik po muna tayo dito. So, dapat lagi, always remember that yung cost of sales kasi ito yung overhead expenses natin. Okay. Siyempre, If we compare the cost of sales with the sales itself, dapat mas malaki ang sales, of course, kaysa dun sa cost of sales. Kasi kapag mas malaki ang cost of sales kaysa dun sa sales, it defeats the purpose na nagdigosyo ka pa, parang nagdigosyo ka ng palugi. Alright? Now, dito po sa highlights, may kita natin, I've discussed this before in my, my two, my previous videos. Now, um, So we have the earning summary, the balance sheet accounts, right? Ito sa gilid, babalang natin. We'll see yung income statement accounts. Alright, income statement accounts. So here, as I'm explaining, cost of sales. Ito yung kumagkano yung ginastos natin para ma-produce yung isang stuff to yung mga example. So which is here, 17 billion, right? The current of bentahan, which is 22 billion. Mahalaga lang naman dito, lagi mas malaki ang sales kesa sa ating cost of sales, right? So, ilan po ating tatandaan here? So for our For our next video, uh, I'll be posting the summary, 
Alright, kung ano yung mga checklist natin that we have to consider. Alright. So, for our next video, uh, I'll be discussing the earnings per share. And I hope that you find this video interesting and would help your decision making and so far as investments is concerned. And again, hope to see you in the fourth video. Right? Thank you.